Miss Beatrice, and I, I, you were telling us about this earlier. So she wanted to meet you, and you went out there earlier today. Yeah, that, that had to was, be so sweet. It was amazing. I mean, you know, we do a lot of good things here from the platform that we have on television. But I tell you, those are really some of the more special moments to be yeah. able to go out there. And she was awfully sweet. She refers to me as her boyfriend. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm no longer on the market yes, at all now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but he's a boyfriend to a lot of people, just so you know. Yeah. Experience Cheater. is worth a lot, though. <laughs> Experience yeah. is worth a lot. So you yes. got a good one there. It was a great time out there. Good. Now. All right. Well, hey, let's talk about this. Uh, weather system that's going to be heading our way. Beautiful day today, but things really change tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning we'll have downpours and then things get really more active as you head into the afternoon and evening hours, so you don't have anything to worry about overnight tonight. In fact, temperatures will be falling from the 70s down into the middle and upper 60s over the next couple of hours, so you can sleep comfortably without having to worry about any storms. Now, as we get into tomorrow, that's a completely different story. In fact, look at temperatures tonight. Most of us are still in the upper 60s to around 70. It's a very pleasant evening and quite comfortable around the area at the airport right now. Here we are at 75 degrees. Winds are relatively calm at the moment, but the outlook is calling for storms tomorrow and humid weather to return over the upcoming weekend. That's right. Stormy and humid weather going to make a return. Things are quiet across the Ohio Valley at the moment, but look out to the west. You see widespread shower and thunderstorm activity beginning to develop, and that's going to be part of that storm system that's going to slide in here for tomorrow afternoon and evening and unfortunately probably bring us the potential for even a little bit of severe weather as we head into the afternoon and evening hours. That's going to be the greatest concern. This storm system moving in our direction tomorrow. Now we've still got plenty of humid air in place at the moment. However, we are basically going to kick all of this very comfortable air, or should I say dry air that's in place out of here tomorrow and bring in the ingredients necessary for strong to severe storms. Now there's a checklist of what we look for when we're tracking or at least expecting strong the severe thunderstorm activity and here we have it. We don't have the strong cold front, but we're going to have three of the other very significant elements and that's moisture and wind shear. Basically wind shear being the turning of the winds throughout the atmosphere. We're going to have plenty of that. The question mark is instability. If we are able to get unstable again after morning rain, then we might have trouble on our hands in the afternoon and evening. Kind of ground zero for tomorrow's severe weather is really going to be focused in the middle Ohio River Valley. So the tri state, the WLWT view area really finds itself more so on the northern flank of this system. But with that said, I suspect we are going to have a couple of severe weather warnings tomorrow, and the main threats will be from damaging winds and hail. But with that additional spin in the atmosphere tomorrow, something that we typically don't have during the month of July, I can't rule out the threat for tornadoes. So that's why tomorrow you have to be a little more weather vigilant, especially in the afternoon and evening, as these won't be the you know usual typical summer thunderstorm that just bring the heavy rain, lightning and locally gusty winds. These will be a little more volatile, so keep that in mind. So you very well could just start your day with a few downpours tomorrow morning. That won't be severe, a little thunder and lightning, but it's really the break that happens. Let's say after three or four in the afternoon through tomorrow evening, this will be a prolonged threat through much of the evening and night tomorrow. Here's a look at it on Futurecast for you. Notice tomorrow morning quiet. Here comes that area of showers as it pushes through, maybe a little thunder and lightning associated with that. Then around lunchtime, we get storms to refire, but here we are tomorrow afternoon and evening. It really is to me the prime window for the most robust and active thunderstorm activity really appears to be to me probably anywhere from about 7 to 10 p.m. when we could see this line of thunderstorms come through with damaging winds. And again, all severe weather elements are on the table tomorrow. By midnight, things will have begun to quiet down. So partly cloudy tonight, it's going to be comfortable. You don't have to worry about any weather overnight. 67 tomorrow storms likely some of them will be on the strong side. Look for that high of around 85. Here's your day planner starting out in the morning around 70 and then climbing into the mid 80s with storms off and on pretty much all day. Here's your seven day forecast with showers and thunderstorms sticking around through the weekend. More clouds and rain afternoon highs will be held down. This was kind of the upside of having a wet weekend. I guess afternoon highs only around 80 until we get to around Monday. All right. Tuesday looks good. I'm just going to focus. <laughs> I'm gonna